Hello, and today I'm going to be showing you my collection of money. I've got two sets here, so I'm just going to show you the first one. I will warn you before I start, as I'm not 100% sure of what all these are. It's mainly just this one that I don't know. I think this one I'm a bit more educated on, as I've had these for a bit longer. I've just got these a lot more recently. So I'm just going to open this up. I'm sorry if you're offended by how I'm handling it, but I promise my hands are nice and clean and I'm not purposely bending any of them if I do. So this one is, it's a Japanese one, it's 10 rupees. It's quite nice, it's in very good condition actually. Um, this one, uh, I cannot tell what the date is, as I don't know Japanese. I'm not sure if maybe that says the date, but if not, then I don't know. But there it is. Yep. Okay, there's one. And this is the second one. I've got a few of these Japanese ones. So there's the date again. This is just a one rupee. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. I'm sorry if I'm not. And I think there's another one. This is five rupee. Rupees. They're very nice. I like the drawings on them. I think it's very detailed. Okay, this one, I've got no idea. Uh, all I know is it's from 1951. Uh, but yeah, feel free for any of these ones, if I make a mistake, just to comment or send me a message and I'll um, credit you and update it. So yeah, this is quite a nice note actually. So yeah, that's that one. Next one's a British one. This is the British Armed Forces, a special voucher. It says it's f only for use as detailed on the res on the river. Sorry. Yeah, but no, this one, it is from, yeah. Yeah, there it says a bit about it. But yeah, that's quite nice, it's a bit colourful. This is the second series one. Um, date will be, you'll see there if you look it up. Um, it doesn't seem to say on it itself what the date is. Okay, next one. This is a very interesting one there. This is a tiny little thing. Um, I'm guessing not sure what country this is from, but I'm guessing maybe China or Japan or one of these sorts of countries. Yeah, it's quite it's small. It's like here there's that British one I've got compared tiny. Okay, next one is this. I'm sure not sure what Maybe it's got a lion or a leopard or something. Again, I'm not 100% sure where this is from, but it's one something. Oh, sorry, I bent it a bit. Yeah, it's really nice detail on it, and it does have a security feature, which apparently these are all from before 1959, so that's quite nice. Okay, I've got two of these smaller ones. I'm not sure if maybe 
Oh no, these are Japanese ones. The Japanese government. That's one centavo. Or, and then that's ten centavos. Sorry if I'm saying it wrong, but I have no idea. And then the last of this collection is this one, which I'm not sure where this is from. But correct me and please feel free to inbox me. So yeah, here I'm just going to put these back into the, oh gosh, the case and then I'll get the next collection out. Most of these were bought on eBay and like auctions and stuff like that. I'm not sure if they've got any value to them. If I find out that they do, I'll have to get them insured and all that, but I don't think I've spent more than £20 on them all together, so it's no big loss. This collection I've had for a bit longer, well that's just a, I got that free with the note, I think the guy just thought it was funny, so this is quite a bit bigger, but I do know a bit more about these ones, or at least I think I do, so I should be able to go quicker. So yeah, this is just a novelty note, it's the United States of America, Merry Christmas, and it's like one million dollars, the um, Bank of Santa Claus, I think it says, Special North Pole Note, the United States of America, ho ho ho, yeah, it's quite funny actually, one million dollars, ooh, okay, what's next on our list of fun? Okay, this is a German note, 1,000 mark, as far as I know, well this is from 1922 or 1923 maybe, I'll have to look it up, it says something about Berlin on the 15th of September 1922, but then up here it says 1923, sorry I don't know. I think these are the notes that they're talking about, like say you might have heard stories about people would be bringing banknotes to pay for bus tickets, but they'd be bringing wheelbarrows of these notes because they're basically worthless for a while. You'd like, burn them to heat your house, that's get more, more out of it. So yeah, that's that. The next one, oh, no, it's just an eBay card, I think, from one of the sellers. I've got a few of these. These are Zimbabwe dollars. This is 10 million. And what I like about these is they've got expiry dates. Is when, well, 10 million and it's worth, I think, like 2p or it was. They, um... They're trying to get their inflation levels down, so I think it, their notes lasted one year or something. So, yeah, that's how they got rid of their inflation, but I think eventually they just decided to start a new currency and just start fresh. So that's that. There's an old one pound Scottish note. Oh, it's bent a bit at the end. That's not good. I'll have to straighten that out sometime. This is from... Oh no, it's not actually that old. It's only from 99. It's just in bad condition. I actually got it for, for change just two days ago when I was at the co-op. So yeah, they still use this as currency. It's just they don't produce it anymore, so they're slowly phasing it out. But yeah, so it is in bad condition. But yep, this is made in Edinburgh. So yeah, that's that. Next one is, I think it's Turkish, is it? Yep, it's Turkish. Um, 10 million. It's 10 million. Uh, sorry, sorry, I was thinking of 10 million, I don't know why. 100,000 lira, Turkish lira. Um, yeah, that's it, it's 100,000, sorry. Don't know why it went blank there, but yeah, these are. This is also in bad condition. This is definitely being circulated, but um, I bought it off eBay a little while ago. But no, this is quite nice. It's 
from 1970, maybe? I think so. Yeah, I think it's from 1970. 14th of October, 1970, I think that's what it says. My Turkish isn't all that great. But yeah, I think that is. Okay, next one, another Zimbabwe note. This is 100 trillion dollars. So again, just showing you how bad their inflation levels are. This is actually quite a nice note. It's good quality. Um, when did this one expire? Um, I think maybe that means something 2008. Maybe it expired in 2008. Or maybe this is before they had expiry dates on it. I'm not sure. But yeah, 100 trillion dollars. Oh, okay, there's just another Scottish banknote. This one's from 1996. It's in a bit better condition, or at least it feels like it is. So, yep, that's that. Ooh, this is my one of, oh, no, two, I've got two Iraq, 100, well, 100, 1,000 Iraq diners. I bought these because apparently they're going up in value, which they actually have. When I bought them, they're worth about 50p together, like 25p each, and now they're worth about a pound, so, so it has went up. It went up about double in value which is not bad so yeah that's that i did buy three but i don't know where the third one is i think i might have given it away to a friend as a gift or something because it was not very colorful and my friend liked it but yeah i've kept two and i hope that they go up in value oh these are some canadian dollars that's a, twen a 20. There's the queen. This is... 2004. Yep, 2004. Made in the Royal Mint in Ottawa. So that's that. We've got your $10 note. These are all circulated. I think I just got them birthdays and stuff, I've just had them. It's from 2005. They're quite nice, and the five dollar. The Canadian dollar notes are really nice, they've got like nice drawings on them. This is from 2006. So yep, that's the end of my collection. I hope you enjoyed it, because I definitely enjoyed getting it out. Don't usually get oh, an eBay thing in there. I don't usually get them out as well. It's a collection. So yeah. Well, thank you for watching and goodbye.